Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yesterday, we visited Masayanella's town and saw an old friend once again. Today, as we just heard from Isabel, Stinky is leaving in one day from now. So we're going to go over and say goodbye to him immediately. I got a letter from Red's Gallery. He sent over the Gallant statue, which I can't believe I talked about that the way I did and I didn't catch it until editing. But that's not what this is about. We need to go see Stinky immediately because... Well, he was kind of one of our starting animals, and I'm a little sad to see him go, but at the same time, I'm kind of hurt that his reason for leaving all these friendships was just, I want to get out of cleaning. Ugh. Alright, hello, Stinky. Thanks for listening to me the other day. I've decided to move out. Aww. I guess time for me to say goodbye to this house that my sweet, my sweat and muscles maintain. Alright, 10,000 squats before I live. Here we go! Unicycle! Wow, he's going to unicycle after doing 10,000 squats. That's our stinky. Please remember this while you work out. We'll always be linked to each other. We'll always be linked with each other by our muscle telepathy. He's such a muscle head. All right. Take one last look. I guess this will be the last time that we see him, unless we somehow get lucky and he moves to another friend's town. Bye, stinky. Even if you don't think of us as such close friends, I'll still always think of you as one of mine. All right, let's not stay sad for too long, though. Stinky wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want us to be sad that he's got to go. So, I'm going to go around and do things, and I say that before we uh, get too into it, we relax with a nice cup of coffee, because we haven't done that in a few days, and when you're feeling sad and down, a nice warm drink can bring your spirits up a little bit, so let's do that. Is there anyone here at all at the roost? Uh, oh! DJ KK, we could finally talk to him. Hey, evening cats and kittens. You come into my show tonight? I'll see you there if you ain't just a square. Uh, it's Saturday, man. It's not your show tonight. As far as I know, this isn't actually the same KK who plays on the guitar. It's actually another one, like some kind of relative of his. I don't know the exact story. I'll see if I can find one, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, Brewster, I'll take the usual. Oh! Uh, after you have done the job enough times for Brewster, he will begin asking you what you like in your coffee. Um, I'll answer with my real life preference of two spoonfuls whenever I have any sort of coffee or tea or anything like that. I don't like coffee nearly as much as I like tea, but two sugar seems like my style. Does it really change anything? I don't really think so. Maybe you get different flavor text. Get it? <laughs> flavor text when you do it. How quaint. I like the word quaint. Okay, I need to just stop gushing over every little thing. Then again, it is me. Yum yum. A little sweet, yet a little bitter. I could really get used to this flavor. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and work for Brewster and get the daily stuff done. For those asking, yes, I'm going to plant my Pomeranians near my house. Uh, I was hoping that I wouldn't get persimmons, to be honest, though, but... Oh, well, at least it was something else that I could tell that has happened to me in my time playing Animal Crossing. And I will admit, it was one of my better brisk pronunciations. Pietro! I've been wanting to talk to you outside of the roost. Oh, he's been hoping to see me. Uh, okay. Please don't don't tell me. I have a star projector. I still want to be the owner. Can we do a trade? How about I read my day planner poem? Wait, no, it's not good enough yet. Uh, how about I give you my dotted rug? Uh, sure. Okay, I'll take that. I was hoping that he would want the patchwork lamp, to be honest, though. But, nah, I'm cool with giving him the star projector, I suppose. Aw, uh, he gazes toward the stars. All right. There you go, Pietro. Hope you enjoy your balloon arc. Whoa! Those are some tough balloons! You hear the sound they make when I don't my shovel? Damn! Shari's been looking all over for me. Oh, brainstorm! We should play hide and seek. But be warned, it's no mere game. Oh, this is something I haven't gotten to show yet! Uh, okay. Uh, yes, let's play this. I have not yet gotten to show this, and it's kind of nice that we get to show something new. Okay, so she's going to find more people, or animals, she should say. And we're going to play hide and seek with Shari, Pietro, and Crook. Okay. So, we have 15 minutes to find all three of them. They can hide behind pretty much anything, be um, anything behind, uh, 
They can hide pretty much behind anything in the town, be it a building, a tree, or whatever, and they were, will agree not to hide indoors, so don't have to worry about that. And you get this little extra music when you do it. You might recognize it from whenever you play an island tour that takes place at night. It's kind of nice. I, I don't mind this music so much. It's nice and exciting, and hey, we have red today as well. Okay, so we have that to do after we're done with this, and I feel something. <laughs> uh, okay, Pietro, just as a tip, you're not really a good hide-and-seek player when you're glimmering in all colors of the rainbow, you know? Just sort of a tip for you, man. I only took me, it took me less than 30 seconds to find the first animal, man. I am good at this, okay. I'm hoping that we find Croc. I really, really do not want to lose to Croc, because that would really freaking suck. Not to mention the fact that the video going on for 15 minutes would kind of be a bit much. Uh, let's look this up really quick. I suppose I could dig up stuff that I find along the way while I do this, you know, actually show the stuff on screen for once while we play this game of hide and seek, because I do kind of have to look through every nook and cranny of this town. Or rather, that's what I would say, except Nook's Cranny is no longer a thing. And I saw a snowflake over there, and Biscuit was staring at it so adorably. Oh, I wish I could have stopped and talked to him, but I don't want to waste time. Okay, uh, where could... Ah, damn it! Okay, I don't want to run, but at the same time, it is kind of the most effective way to get around, but it tramples grass, and it tramples flowers, and I don't want to do it. Um, now, I will say, I would laugh so hard if Shari's hiding place was, like, really stupid. Oh! Uh, okay, guess we will have to talk to Biscuit later today. No, I didn't mean to hit re- no! Okay, I assume the second option down was gonna be Barry because I wanted to put it back in the ground until he told me to go get it. Ah, uh, that sucks. He's gonna hate me now. Hey, Crook. Yeah, you're behind a tree and you poked out from behind said tree. Okay, good. Now gonna do is find Shari, and I am gonna bet that she's gonna be in a hilarious hiding space. Like, she's gonna be hiding behind something that doesn't even hide her very well. Come on. Because I've had that happen where animals have hid behind things that aren't even as tall as they are. Let's see. Come on. Uh, Shari, you're kind of not lined up with that tree very well. I can very clearly see you behind it, because you're not even behind it. You scared me. You came right to me. No fair. No using superpowers. Hmm. You're good, Emil. Almost. Too good. Okay, here's a price for you. We get ourselves a furniture item. I'm curious what it might be. A lovely chair. What is with her giving me lovely items? Maybe she's thinks I'm a girl or something? I don't know. Uh, I would go to Red's right now, but I kind of feel like we should talk to Biscuit because I need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Hi, Biscuit. I have the capsule. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to open it. I really, really didn't. I swear I didn't read what was inside. Oh, yeah, you found my time capsule. Yeah, I was thinking I might dig it up soon myself. Wait a sec. It's open. Did you open it, Emil? How could you? That's so uncool, dog. And we get nothing for what we did. Oh, Biscuit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to open it. I was trying to bury it again when I found it. I didn't want to dig it up. Shelly, you're not going to bury a pitfall seed, are you? I hope not. I always fall on those stupid things, dog. Oh, considering the stuff that happened in yesterday's video, it is so, so fitting to say that. But... Red! We get to visit Red for two days in a row just because that was really, really nice of Bethesda to let me visit her, Red, and not take the painting. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay, this is bad luck. Okay, this one I knew from memory. If there is one child down there, it's fake because the original piece has two children down there. Uh, this one, the shell is upside down. I had to look this one up. This one, the original piece, has a green vegetable for the nose instead of a, an orange carrot with green leaves hanging down. I think we already have the Mona Lisa, and this is the real one. But I think I will still buy it, just in case we don't have it. And if not, I can always give it to someone who does need it, you know? What goes around comes around. If you see a nice item that you think somebody might like to have, or might help someone complete their museum, you should buy it. Alright. So that's all nice and dandy and good, and I really am talking like the old man that I am dressed up as. So go away, Red. I do not like your inventory and what you do to people and all that lame stuff. So... Trying to think about what else it is I want to do today. We have the uh, KK concert tonight at 8 o'clock, which I am going to be taking suggestions from you guys on that. Um, I asked on Twitter and Facebook yesterday what song you think would go on the Jingle Room, and I'm going to be actually doing that. I'm trying to think, what else do I want to show? So Main Street now, I suppose. Couldn't think of much, and when all else fails, I say you write your friends a nice letter or two. So I've written letters to Stinky and to Molly. I will show on screen right now what these letters are, as I took a while to write them. And I have a present for Stinky as a going away gift. Now, 
It's not the same one that he had here in town, but I'm gonna give him this green bench so that he can continue on bench pressing completely wrong on an actual bench. All right, here you go, Pelly. Hopefully there's some kind of sorcery of some kind of forwarding the mail will finally reach Stinky in some faraway place. All right, okay. So the very next thing that I need to do is show you guys the results for the town hall remodeling, which I do need to go to town hall to do that, so I will see you guys in just a moment. These were the poll results you see on screen right now, so therefore we are going with Japanese themed. I really should not be surprised. It is one of the cooler looking ones, I'll say that much. Now there is something I do need to address. I was asked by quite a few people, well, what if you want to turn your town hall back into what it looked like before? What then? And my answer to that is that yes, you can do that. Problem. It costs another half million bells. I am not kidding. It's ridiculous how much it, how much they charge you for this stuff. And it's only a cosmetic change. It's not like these public works projects do anything. It's just, it's a nice little piece of flair and personality of your town, though. But it's just like, I don't feel it's worth this much money at all. I just like doing it, though, because it makes the town feel a bit more personalized. But... I don't know. Aw, look at Isabel clapping! Oh, you don't get to see that often! Aw. I like how her hands didn't or paws don't even reach together. Aw, okay. So, what is next? We did the letters, we remodeled Town Hall, we took care of all that. Um I say that I meet you guys in a little while. We got about 50 more minutes until the weekly KK concert, and we will get a song for the jingle room. See you guys a bit later. At long last, it is after 8 p.m. and we can go see KK up on Main Street. So, well, we're on our way to do that. I never did specify why KK was my favorite animal in the entire series, even though I said that the first time we saw him. And this is the last time we're going to be seeing KK together. So I feel like, wow, that's creepy. I feel like I should, you know, tell the story because I've been getting asked about it. Back when I was a young kid, I was only 12 years old, I got a GameCube for my birthday, and like many other kids, I played Super Smash Bros. Melee day and night. In fact, it was the first time I ever stayed up all night playing a video game was when I got Super Smash Bros. Melee. And there was a trophy in that game of a character named Totaka K, which is the Japanese name for KK. And I'll show this on screen right now. And as you see in the description when it says what game he is from, it is future release. I was so fascinated by the fact that they had given us a hint to some mystery character in some game we hadn't gotten yet that I was just obsessed with finding out what game this character was from, this white dog. And I just obsessed over it and looked out for a game with him in it, and eventually I was pointed to Animal Crossing by a friend of mine because I had other friends that were helping me in my search. And just the memories of that search for finding what game this character was from, it was just... It was kind of a magical time, and when I actually got to play the game and I got to like hear his music and, you know, I had music added to my house and I could customize what songs I wanted to play in my house in the different rooms, it just added so much to the game to me, and I probably wouldn't have become an Animal Crossing fan in the first place had they not put that trophy of KK in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I don't know if I would have or not, but I think I wouldn't have had quite as big of a chance. So, KK, thank you for introducing me to this entire vast world of Animal Crossing. You ready to groove to my tunes? Yes, please. Cool. Take a request if you got an itch for an old favorite. You can belt the name of a song or just tell me how you're feeling. It's all cool with me. I know a song. I asked many of you on Twitter and Facebook what song would work. A uh, Sir Groovitude. Um, what song would work well for the Jingle Room? And I got a suggestion from quite a few of you that I think is very good. This is a fan favorite song and one of my favorites as well. So, our final KK song that we are getting together is Stale Cupcakes. Cool, I can dig that. My axe is hot to play. Cop a seat. Pete. Oh, he's such a cool cat. He's such a cool cat, even though he's a dog. That's just how much of a cool cat he is. Let's jam.
So happy but sad at the same time. It's just a whirlwind of emotions and such a good song. I didn't talk to Molly. Let's talk to her. That was very... by the book. Oh, hi, Ebot. What a coincidence meeting you here, Quackadee. Uh, let's talk. No matter how many times I come to see one of the KK Slider shows, I'm always moved by the music. You gotta move to the music. Hello, Shrunky Poo. Tonight, KK Slider's putting on a super special acoustic show. I hope you enjoy it. He probably doesn't sound like an announcer. He probably is like really geeky, like, Tonight, KK Slider is putting on a special show. Yeah, because he's got the back teeth. So he talks like this. Okay, no. All right. Well, to home we go, I gotta choose, uh, I think I only have the, uh, Sleek Stereo is the only one that I have that is not currently playing music in another room, so I guess that's gotta be it. And, oh, this song once again, it's the outro music for when I go to sleep, and, ah, I keep traveling flowers today! Okay, series, I know it's my own fault for running, but, uh, friggin' stuff, and I kinda wanna build a snowman, but at the same time I kinda don't, because it's been hell building snowboys right, and, uh... I get you guys. It's easy to build snow techs, easy to build snowmen, though, but when you're trying to get a snow tyke, or excuse me, a snowboy versus a snowman, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, Brewster, when we worked for him earlier, gave us this espresso machine. Yeah, it's pretty small. Doesn't really fit in, I don't really have any room on a table, so I guess I'll just kind of put it in this really subdued area. I love it so much. If my atrocious timing in music wasn't bad enough, uh, you can hear that your musical instruments will tune to whatever it is you're playing. I can use my harp for this as well. See? Okay. Well, with this really peaceful, happy, but sad music, looks like we only have a few days left here in Palette. 29th, 30th, and the 31st. Tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we have our remodeled town hall to look forward to. Not only that, but I think we're going to get to know some of our animals a teeny bit better. You know, the ones that we don't talk to enough. And perhaps ones that we haven't talked to a whole lot in recent videos. See you guys tomorrow.